All right, thanks, Tiffany. Good afternoon again, everyone. Let's take a look at what's happening in the Jupiter Inlet today. Not bad. Lots of boats coming in and out right now, and not a bad boating day. The risk for rip currents is low along area beaches. Maybe that's why there's so many people out at the beach today. Warm, humid, and a chance for rain in your weather headlines for today. Temperatures dropping quickly tonight, and then we go from a cool morning tomorrow to a pleasant day tomorrow to a chilly night tomorrow night. We'll get into all of that. Let me show you what's happening with the cold front that's slowly working its way down through Florida. It's also weakening while it's moving through Florida, so it's not going to have the kind of cold air behind it that we saw at Christmas. Instead, this is going to bring our temperatures back down to around average for this time of year, which is actually 70s during the day and 50s at night, and we haven't been seeing that at all. We've been seeing 60s and 70s at night, 80s during the day. Uh, there's a line of showers and thunderstorms up to our north. There's not much rainfall around in our area right now. A couple of showers here and there, and that's it. And temperatures are in the low 80s all along the Treasure Coast and in Okeechobee County. Temperatures in Palm Beach County are in the low to mid 80s. We're starting to see some mid 80s pop up inland there, like in Wellington. Uh, today's record highs. Well, we're looking at uh, temperatures that made it up into the mid 80s in 1908 and 1997. The record high in West Palm Beach, 85 degrees in 1908 and 85 degrees, but that was in 1997. In Vero Beach, we're forecasting a high of 85 today for West Palm and a high of 84 for Vero, so we could tie either one of these records, but we're going to be close regardless to the record highs. So the front swings through late tonight, early tomorrow morning and cooler air moves in and then kind of hangs out for a few days all the way through Saturday and into Sunday too. Although Sunday will be slightly warmer, we do have some stronger cold fronts in the forecast for next week and next weekend the 14th and 15th of January. Uh, here's a look at what's happening with our winds coming out of the south today, helping to fuel that heat. Once the front moves through early tomorrow morning, winds move out of the northwest, and that's what helps to bring in that cool, cool air. Plus, there's going to be a little bit of a wind chill. Here's a look at some of our overnight temperatures for tonight. We're looking at 50s inland and along the Treasure Coast and a few 60s along the Palm Beach County coast, but mostly mid to low 50s all along the Treasure Coast inland upper 50s low 60s along the Palm Beach County coast WPBF a proud sponsor of Fiesta de Pueblo going on this weekend at uh, Ferrari Park in Green Acres and Saturday is going to be a gorgeous day by the way temperatures in the mid 70s after a chilly morning on Saturday lots of sunshine and then starting to cool down in the afternoon so maybe take a jacket with you later in the day uh, beach and boating forecast no hazards today winds out of the south southwest 10 to 15 near record highs scattered rainfall picking up later this afternoon and into the evening hours, then clearing out overnight tonight, 60s and 50s with chilly winds out of the northwest tomorrow. Cool morning, pleasant afternoon temperatures making it up into the low to mid 70s. Lots of sunshine as we make our way through the day tomorrow and then Saturday starting off pretty chilly. 50s along the coast, maybe some 40s inland Saturday morning, but then warming up into the low to mid 70s again. A gorgeous day Sunday with temperatures mid to upper 70s. We get back into the 80s Monday and Tuesday with a double whammy of cold fronts Wednesday and Thursday of next week. And we could be seeing, not this weekend, but next weekend, some overnight lows in the 30s and 40s. Of course, we'll be talking about that more next week. That's a look at your forecast.